Hello guys, this is Radu from DNA Sharp and today I want to show you a short implementation about the Simple Find Manager that we designed. Its purpose is to add uh, your own security and business logic when serving folders and files to your clients. For this setup we used three modules, uh, Action Form, Action Grid and My Tokens. On the left side you can see Action Form that it's helping me to choose the folder that I want to display on the right with the Action Grid and my token is, is used to generate the URLs behind each file that goes to, through the DNN security. And so if you have like uh, secure folders or a secure setup for the users where they upload and download files, um, this uh, implementation will fit that situation as well. Also with the action form on the left, you can upload files by just by choosing where you want uh, the, full, the file to go. So for example, um, if I choose this picture and click upload file, it's just gonna pop up really quickly on the right side. So um, how, how we did it, um, we are using the sync with URL feature of, um, of the action grid and uh, it's watching the URL for uh, changes and uh, with the Action form on the left, we are pushing the folder ID up to the URL, and Action Grid is looking at it and displaying the documents from that folder. Um, let me show you. So let me share the action form how it's designed. Uh, we have an item tree picker. Um, the item tree picker allows me through a, a little bit more complex SQL to bring my structure, the folders, the folder structures. And it let me, I, I did it in such a way there where I can choose the parent ID of uh, where the tree to start expanding. Uh, in this case, it's the root folder of the DNN, but it can be any, any folder from your, uh, from, from your setup. The SQL is a little bit uh, long and complex, but uh, I will be sure to put it in the description of the video. And um, it, it should work just fine. Uh, on the uh, change, on the on, cl on click on change, uh, I'm using the um, the API that uh, the N Sharp modules are is putting uh, for the user. It's called update query string params, and uh, you can change, update, or add a new query string just by specifying the name and the value. In this case, I'm just choosing the value that was selected in the three item three p uh, item item picker so i push it to the to the url the single file upload uh, is just set up to uh, input mode folder id and i'm looking also to the for the, the query string that i pushed in to the url and uh, uploading the file in that specific folder uh, the upload file button, it's just two simple actions. It's uh, refreshing the action grid so it can show the new added file and it's initializing the action form that we are looking at so we can have a clean start if you want to upload the new file. All right, um, for the action grid part, um, this is actually simple, uh, nothing complicated, just a database uh, table as the source and the table it's files. Um, the file ID is the ID column and uh, I just set the where clause to look after the folder ID that I'm pushing to the URL. So each time that the folder ID changes, it changes the content of the action grid. And this is done by this checkbox here under general settings it's called sync with URL. So this one enables to action grid to watch the URL actually. So with this checkbox not checked, this is not gonna work, so be careful. Now, um, you can add a lot of details about the documents. This is the, those are actual columns that the files uh, table provides you. And uh, I only choose or three, four of them, but you can add the extension, the height, the width, depending on if it's an image or not, and all other, all other information. Um, 
the created on date and the last modified those are simple custom uh, those are simple columns uh, the tricky part comes in the file name column where I set the formatting to text and enable allow HTML and if you can see behind that link it's actually the my tokens token that I talked about uh, it's actually calling out a DNN method for generating the secure link for that file yeah, and it's using an identifier in this case it can be the file ID the file path and the relative path I think also and let me show you the uh, token behind uh, the code behind the token um, it's a really really long line um, I'm importing the common DLL from the DNA share products so I can use the method inside my script body. It's a very long line. Um, I will attach this in the comments of the video as well. So it's basically getting the right information and transforming in, transform it, it into a link. So the actual link, if you can see on the left side, it's actually the link click SFX uh, with the token for the and the portal to download that file. So guys, yeah, that's actually the most simple file manager that uh, you can do with the NeonShare products. Let me know if you want to see anything else or um, if you want to explore more about this setup and see you next time. Bye-bye.